Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is me, Farm Rainbow Extreme, and this time it's episode 10 of my Let's Play series on Addison Park on Farm Simulator 19. If you're just looking for, then please stay tuned. Back to episode 10 of my Let's Play series on Anderson Park, and this time we've got a bit of science work to do as well. I have so we've got to sort these bells out. These were all the bells we did in the last episode, and I didn't say how much we did, but all these bells 119 bells. I was got 40, sacked on 40, the 39 here on the end. Also, what I've gone and done is I've at least another milling machine. It didn't cost us, what, 250 quid, something like that, nothing much. Just because I want to use this to help speed up the process of us picking up the silage from the side uh, bunker side clamp, and yeah. Obviously, we'll perhaps sell it into the biogas plant itself, depending on what the prices are at the moment. Now, let's have a look, shall we? Silage. Price is going down in the livestock barn, so who knows. Uh, we'll head along here, they'll cut down. Also, we've got a worker on field 16, we're doing a fertilization contract for 45 grand. So hopefully that will help us get a bit of extra income in as well. Since we're not making... Oh, didn't mean to knock you over. <laughs> Yeah, since we're not making much money from crops at the moment, just from passive income and eventually the signage. So yeah, I thought, yeah, get a work doing it. But our next crops will be for ourselves for profit, so... Also, yeah, we've got soybeans to sell as well. We'll sell them at some point today. Get about 25 grand for them, I think, 25, 27 grand. And that is plenty of enough because also what I want to do is I want to get enough money in so we can buy a tree devourer and do a bit of conservation and just clean up the farm area a bit around our area just to make it a little more attractive to wildlife as well as tidy up for ourselves. Oh this is a bit, a bit precarious it just fits onto here with no issues whatsoever. Yes yeah, so I know the landscape work is not the best but Hopefully this will work. If it doesn't, then it is what it is. So if we go and um, turn around, flip you over. Hey, full 360. Oh, no. Let's go and unfold the minimum machine near you and turn you on. Bugger. We got chaff. Um, let's go and unload to you. Not sure quite exactly how to do that. Um, bear with me a sec, folks. Ah, this is going to be an issue. This bunker site will only take a hundred thousand years at a time. So yeah, we're getting it down slowly. I think what we may have to do is quickly fast forward time a bit, get this trailer emptied, and then do two trips. I think we'll need to do this. Yeah, two trips, or uh, no, sorry, three trips. I will take this over to the livestock market and hopefully be a bit better for us. Because obviously, if we're losing a lot of daylight here. Obviously there's even so far we can do, um, obviously the money's going up as well, from the greenhouse to the beehives. So yeah, making about three grand per in-game hour, which I'm happy with. Actually, how are our animals doing at the moment? 232 pigs now, and we've just got a sheep, so 
They also increase. I realised the bells. It shows different amounts because of people where I place the bells. So one fills up sometimes, and the other fills up. I think all in all, we got about twenty. No, sorry, not twenty. About fifty thousand years off wool. And uh, what is wool selling for at the moment? Three grand. So. Yeah, a decent amount of money. So yeah, that's empty now, so what we'll do is... I think we'll take it over to the livestock market. It's going to be a bit more of a trek, I know, but... I think that's the only way we can get this done today, because we need to still sell the rest of the Surrey. Actually, speaking of which, how much Surrey have we got? Another 2,000 years to put in. I think by the end of the game day, we should have enough sorry to fill up that tanker to at least 100,000 years, so yeah. So what we're going to do is... There we go. That's the traffic who's in there. And now if I just put... Hand, just look at that. Not the most realistic of setups, I know, but... At least we're feeling very fast, folks. So, yeah, what's that's going on for the moment? I know that's going to switch off as soon as we swap over to elsewhere. Um, I want to get the planters running. So, go to... You. And which one requires the most horsepower, the cedar or the planter? Okay, it looks like the planter requires more horsepower, so we'll get this attached to the Great Plains. And we'll get our other tractor, not you. Where's the 722? How many horsepower have the 720 got? Ah, 200, we want the 870. Okay, there's the 870 there. Actually, you know what? We'll just get you hooked onto here. And actually, for potatoes, not potatoes, for onions and carrot, um. So this will do onions and carrots, right? Yep. So to do onions and carrots, don't think we could do it with normal headers, can we? No, we'll need the corn header, I think. Oh no. Beets. Yeah, carrots and onion headers. So that'll do carrot, that'll do onions. So that's the Panther 2 and Tiger 6L. What about the potato technology? Oh, the, this will do onions and carrots, so... Wait a minute, does this dump it on the ground? I think it does. What about if we lease an equipment? Glad to use the Rupa Panther 2. How much is that going to cost us to lease? 20 grand plus operation hour. Oh, that looks pretty expensive. Actually, what are the header's horsepower requirements? I think there is a mod in the model as part of the... Um, what is it? What's the pack called? It's part of the Sampo pack. Not the one that just came out today on Monday, the Harvester pack. There's another one that came out last week was it by the same modder i don't think it was no but yeah i know which one i'm on about so we could go down that route could try attaching there's a few options we could go for how about four charsters headers no that's one thing i do want to get i want do want to get a four charster just so we can make easy silage from corn and that. 
And we've got slot counts available. We go with the Jaguar 900. You're going to be about a quarter of a mil all said and done. So yeah, that's a few options for us, folks. But I think for now we'll stick to. I think we'll do soybeans. I think again. How much is Phil's 14? 165 grand. So we can't borrow more money. So I do want to say get filled 14 and merge these two fields together, that's the thing. Helper A is completed. How much does the contract have you done? 40%. I know we're on the wrong fields, that's these potato fields. That's the thing, we could do potatoes again, I should do like doing the potatoes. The harvesting takes a while, don't get me wrong. But all in all, that actually ain't that bad. Well, at least I don't think it's that bad. It's pain. It's pain in the bum. That takes forever to do, but it's worth it, money-wise. We get. We count into the yieldage. But yeah, anyways, obviously, remember, folks. In the last episode, we plowed all the fields. Yes, we could have cultivated and all that. Come on, get traction going. Man, this thing is really struggling. I think we'll go and hop into the other one, I think. Shit, is, could, could it be the equipment itself is warm? Because we do need to do a lot of maintenance work. Yeah, 47%. I think it could get through the harvest. This has got plenty of horsepower, so. Uh, what's the Great Plains working speed? I'll have a look here. Nine miles an hour, so we'll get us hooked up and have a look then, shall we, folks? Okay, so this is doing that eight miles an hour, so. Yeah. Part of that could have been down to the wear. Who knows? But let's get the Axiom 870. I'll get you hooked up to the Amazon. Just double checking, we are doing. Yeah, soybeans, right? Yep. Soybeans it is, folks. And this is going to be a very good harvest for us. Soybeans again. What's the wear like on this? Let's get unfolded a sec. Amazon Condor. Amazon Condor, where you tool? Oh, 94%, so yeah, this is still got plenty of keeping it left. Yes, still pushing it on the horsepower because Amazon requires 270. And our tractor is, what, 285 or 290? 295, so we've got an extra 27 horses to play with here. Perhaps with the engine we're at the moment just gone over 25%, perhaps we've lost a couple of horsepowers, who knows. I know this one's a bit slower than the other one, so... 6 miles an hour is doing it at 4 or 5, so yeah. I think it's horsepower limited, I think, rather than anything else, so... I'm happy with that. I'm going to let these boys crack on and we'll get this done. What the wrong way to look that way? Shift 
get the lights on. There we go, because that minor, that minor X has got powerful lights. Yeah, we're already at 45%, so yeah, folks, what I'm going to get this done is, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to get this done, and I'll bring the lot back um, once we are done, or I'll bring you in when we unload in. Because I think with the livestock market, it's get the money there and then, perhaps. And yes, I did sort of boost the price a little bit, because 300 odd quid doesn't really seem that much, so yeah, I'm going to get some folks, and I'll see you in a short moment. So here we are at the Lysart Market, and this is this place here where I go all the bells to, so let's go and have a look, shall we? Get this thing turned around. I've got to drive right inside, I think so. So let's go to some side, shall we? Oh yes, we're selling sluggish folks, so prices hopped up from about 360 to 600 So yeah. We'll see how much we get from this one load. If it's stupid amounts then we'll go back to easy. Not back onto easy, back onto normal. But yeah, let's see how much we can get here. 190. And in that first load alone we got 183 grand, so actually I'm happy with that, so yeah I'm happy with that, let's continue on but as we are folks and I'll meet you folks when we're at the biogas plant again. And the folks, some time has passed and we've been busy. Um, what we've got, uh, we've got all the fields seeded and put the second stage of fertilization on. Yeah, there's a couple of bits in there we've missed, some bits because we missed in the seeding. But the rest of this I'll get done in the morning or at some point tomorrow just because it's way too late by the time we finish by about 9 o'clock. And ever since then we just fast forward the time, we just put what we could off the silage into the biogas plant. I've still got another 94,000 litres here so let's go and sell that shall we? See how much money you can get. Also, we've got the manure, that like little pile of manure that we have about 29,000 litres, and the 85,000 litres of slurry to sell as well. So, actually, also, one thing I wonder is digesting. Where's the best place to sell you? Well, slurry export. So, actually, we can. Yeah, we could do that. Could we get this? Yeah, we could do that. So, yeah. That is that. And if you go to the right equipment, sorry about it being dark. We go with sell slurry, it ain't gonna be much, it's just a bit of extra cash in the bank. Eight five thousand litres. Then also what we could do is get the digestate out of how much we got at the moment, about yeah, two hundred and twenty thousand litres, so once that gets to this peak. Actually, what? Let's go sell the digest eat now, so. If I can find the pipe for the digest eat. Oh, here. So, whilst that is filling up, we'll go and sell the manure. No, not you. Nope. There we go. Sell the manure. 29,000 litres. At the export that we put it in. Again, it's not going to be much cash, but it's better than nothing, a bit of bonus. Greenhouses are still full, let me check this one. Uh, yes, it's, it's going to run out at some point later on tomorrow, but. So, yeah, 10 grand flat, better than nothing. I'm happy with that. And let me just go ahead and skip this bit here, folks. So, this is full. There we go, we are full, so let's go and sell this bit of digest eight here. And let's see how much we're going to make. And that is 
28,886. So yeah, again, not much, but perhaps the S prices could be a bit better. Who knows? Excuse me. Uh, let's go and fill you up again. And uh, we'll go and solve this one, shall we? Um, I'm just gonna sell this last bit of digestate. The rest will sell in the morning. If the price is okay, it's still a bit like 91,000 euros to process. So yeah, that is another 25 grand. But now this is gonna be the big jump of how much we're gonna get from what we've done. I've got a rough price if what we're gonna get, but let's see how much we're gonna get, folks. Two hundred and seventy-three grand. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of money, folks. I'm happy with that. That's a good little chunk of change there, and that is gonna be for today. Uh, we'll go to the morning now. Oh, hundred twelve grand from property income. Also, we returned the John Deere. We still got uh, what was it? This also we'll send that back. And bike eye is a very handled piece. But yeah, folks, what we're gonna do now is we'll get some rest, and I'll see you all in the morning. And a good morning, folks. And you see, we earned a bit more money overnight over the last eight hours. We slept. And that is because obviously off the greenhouses and that. And I've got a bit more digestate to sell. Pretty sure the biogas plant is complete and processing there, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's all done processing. Yeah, ain't gonna be much money, especially now. Let's have a look at the prices of digestate. 234, that's okay. Yeah, I can live at 234. Sorry, was that 234? Yeah, 234. I thought I misread that a sec. Also, yes, we could do size again if we wanted to. So I can hear my dog barking in the background. And also, we just wondering what we could do is we could go and start getting the cow farm. But I don't think we're quite ready there yet. I think we'll, we'll sell the pigs, the tents of the pigs and sheep. I think the sheep are going to do absolutely well, especially with the amount they're producing. Yeah, so let's go and let's go and tend to our animal show. I think we'll do that first. How's everything growing? Yep, yeah, all growing well. Obviously, we've still got the contract on Phil 16 to do, so oops there. But yeah, we'll get that done in a bit. Let's go back to the farm and tend to our animals. So, alrighty then, folks, we're back at the farm and. Yeah, I think the first thing to do is actually feed the pigs off the wheat that we harvested the other day. And, ooh, look at that mess. Man, these pigs, Christ. <laughs> well, anyways, we'll go ahead and get us quite sore here, so we'll put this up. Unload the wheat. And yeah, it should be nearly topped up, and I'm happy with that. I was in the straw and water from that, and I've got that out there ready. So I'll get this empty. There we go. I will pop you somewhere over here. Transporter and transport some more pigs. Because we have one, I'll earn another 56 grand. There we go, just go and fill up the little piggies. Let's 
So yeah, down to 202 picks, I'm happy with that. Let's go and turn this baby around. Oh, and mind you. There we go. Next we'll hop into here. Also with the bells in the front loader and that, I did have to go into the mono and grab a different mod. Because one's the one we used from CSE pack for some reason, despite putting the right options, it still wouldn't let me auto load. It just well it auto loaded it but only just one bell, not three bells. Despite saying three bells, so no idea what's going on there, but I've got a auto load one now. And that's why the money's gone a bit, because I have buying, selling, buying, selling, doing different configurations, see if I broke here or not. But nope. Yeah, we'll get these things cleaned up. Next, we'll take. Yeah, we'll take this on to the sheets. Why not? Yeah, a bit of pig food with the sheep, whatnot. Get us a little bit. There we go. So I'm happy now with the pigs. Now, what we can do is just go down the first view. Pop you over here for now until we take you down to the sheep. Also, yeah, I've still got the slow means out to sell. Oh, where is it to? Here it is. So yeah, I've got the bell auto load attacher. Also, we bought a front loader for the fence. Yes, it's no tricks and John Deere, not a fence or a class, but it's green. But so all green with a bit of yellow. So we've got three bells. We've got water, and the water is mainly for the pigs and sheep. But also, we're we'll using this for the greenhouses. So we'll get those attended to today. Make sure they're still topped up. Also, River Rest of Straw, uh, I might just go and sell it at the livestock market. Just because well, we've got plenty of straw as it is. Which one's the straw? I think the straw is here. Yeah, there we go, so go and... Or not. Let's just go and disconnect the water a sec. What's going on here? Okay, now we've got a hey, ghost. <laughs> no idea what's going on here, folks. Not a clue. Um, bear with me. Okay, so that didn't work. So what we've done is spend a big chunk of the money that we earned, to be exact, 142 grand. On the biggest hand force mix wagon in the game on console, I think the Silo King Trade Line 4500. 4535. But yeah, it's a 4500 litre force mix wagon. So I thought, why not just go and buy this? Because I was going to need it for the cows at some point. So let's just buy the bullet now and go and buy it. What? At last, we could pick you up. So, yeah, we'll just get a bunch of these bells, whack them into the Silo King, and then we'll go from there. So, there we go, we've got one bell, and the other two that glitched um, 
For some reason we can't pick them up anymore. Don't know why such, but just is what it is. So let's go and grab these bells. Not all of them. We wanted a couple at a time. As long as we haven't got the weight on the back of this thing, so. Go in. That's it. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Something so simple, and it's. Game of joint pain in the rear end. There we go. That is what I want to see. So a little bit of straw left. But yeah, actually you know what, to us we could sell the bales then as long as we've got five hundred thousand litres in the silo. Uh, well we could still sell the whatever we've got in the silo with the trader, so I think all in all it doesn't really make much of a difference. All said and done. Surely we're getting close to full. I know you need about 11 and a bit leap, 11 and a bit bale, so. Needs another three, four more, I think. Let's go and grab you. Could do so do with the weight on the back of this. Just makes my life easier. But yeah, we'll get some folks quickly and I'll see you in just a sec. So there we go with the straw and make sure it's on the tip side to the left. Yes it is. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these spells because you can't grab them anymore. But yeah, it's unload. And then this will be good for the pigs for the next 10 days, give or take. And I do push if you hear a bit of rain in the background. Uh, it's a bit hot today, but as well, it's absolutely chucking it down outside, so I don't think the rain should be that much of a distraction, but yeah. Get the straw done. Pigs are going to be nice and happy. But yeah, I think we'll just go. Yeah, let's go sell the straw first of all before we tend to the rest of the animals. So we'll go and pop this somewhere. Uh, over there. Yeah, that'll do. We'll quick get our wall topped up, of course, and at least we know the pigs are done. I've got this in. There go. Just go forward and turn. That's it. I know that. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. We got all bit glitchy over a bit, a little bit of a bump. Yeah, this tanker has its pros and cons. Pro being capacity, cons, just about everything else with this little tanker pack. That's all the war they need. Oh, it is! Fair enough. Don't need much war, little piggies. But yeah, I think what I'll do now is we'll go and sell all the straw, I think. We'll have about 100,000 litres left in silo. Actually, what, let's leave about a quarter of a mil, so we'll do one full trailer from silo and the rest from the auto bell, so yeah. Let's go get us done folks, shall we? So, I'll see you all in just a moment.
Twelve hundred and I think it's about one hundred and sixty grand that was all in all between the bells and what we had in the silo. Cannot complain with that, folks. Cannot complain at all. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go to sheep, get the sheep sorted, and then I think I should maybe buy some more sheep. So I got a bit of the, the hiccups today as well. So yeah. So how many sheep have we got at the moment? 197. Say if we buy, I don't know, another 53 or so. Not sure what the capacity is. Um, actually, we could, we could actually check now, couldn't we? Or actually buy any sheep. I could always see the, what the capacity is. The big are 250. I'll say the sheep. Oh, yeah, it's been stopped. It's about 300 or so. 300 sheep, so that's the case, and that's plenty enough. I keep sheep around the 275 mark then, and just play with the pigs, just sell when we need to. But yeah, I know what the Joskins Akatrons over there um, could be using. But yeah, I'm after to put stuff like a water trade over here. A water tank so we can just get the water. I see, yeah, barely use anything at all. Oh, bit of dip the wheel in the water. See you, sheepy sheepies. Let's go get some grass bells. And again, I forgot to get the broom. I don't know where the broom's gone to, but I guess we can use the front loader. Three bells is the limit here, so good to know. So yeah, just look at the state of that sheep pen. Yeah, sheeps are filled up, so how many sheeps could we get in? Fit another 40. Ah, so yes, yeah, so 250 sheep. Fair enough, I'm happy with that. So, I think with pigs, I don't, I'm not worried about. Well, I'm sorry, sorry, with sheep, I'm not worried about reaching the capacity because that's the whole point of them is getting up to the capacity and just produce tons and tons of wool. Yes, we could sell sheep if we really want to, but. I think our average just get 250 sheep in and produce a lot of wool. So let's go and do that, show you folks. So here we are once again at the island dealership. But this I'm not selling stuff, but buying stuff. So we'll go and loop this thing around. Oh, I forget this thing does not like to turn around, it tends to jack life quite a bit. First, trade itself or trader in truck no idea whatsoever but let's get you back up so you want to buy 50 the next sheep's in two hours so yeah I think if you get 52 then all of that sheep can reproduce So let's go back up and we'll get some sheep in, shall we, folks? Yeah, white sheep. So sheep white. Oh, still got the pigs in here. Oh crap. Oh, oopsie. Oops. <laughs> My bad peas. Don't tell Peter. <laughs> Poor little piggies. So if we need 52 
sheaves. How, how much is that? So actually we take some sheeps out. There we go, that's 52, I think. So yeah, all in all, actually we, didn't, we got 56 grand from the pigs. I spent 78 grand for the sheep, so yeah, 22 grand overall spent. I'm not complaining, we're, we're currently sitting on a lot of money here, folks, so I think this really does open up opportunities for us. I have to have to go down, just go all big or go home with equipment. Actually, I've got an idea what we could do with the money. Oh, bugger, you just harvested, didn't you? Still 16, though. Soybeans. Uh, don't have the money. Oh, no. I say we could have bought field um, 15 and get ourselves a forage officer and get a lot of silage. Oh, bugger. Oh, well. Yeah, I've got a couple of ideas what we do with the money. I'm in no rush at the moment. Yeah, I'm in no rush at all. So let's get this back and then we'll go from there, shall we, folks? So here we are. Squeeze through the gate. Turn the lights on may actually help us here a little bit. Or not. <laughs> Just squeezed our way in through there. So now, still got plenty of wool left to produce. Let's go and put all the sheep into the fields. If my math is right, is it? Yes, it is. 249 sheep. I think what we'll do first of all is get that mess cleaned up. So what we're going to do is rotate it and grab a couple of bells. When I say a couple, it means one of course. Actually it's all right there. So we'll go and pop you down. Nope, don't you. There we go. Pull the sheep back off a sec, please. I know you're hungry, but just be patient. And we, ooh, got ourselves wrapped up in a the tree there. So yeah, we just go and pick this up. Much by the looks of it. So go and dump you in there. So we go and uh, pop you here. go. Double check again. Yep, so he needs definitely some bells. I think two would do. Towards I think one would do, but who knows. Nope, still hungry, so <laughs> perhaps actually we need to do some more grass bells. I do have field uh, 19 already mowed do that little bit off camera so we could get the grass from there once it's done growing once it's done growing again oh okay 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 you don't like it that's fine that's fine you don't like it that's fine so yeah now we've got enough food for 10 days so I need to re-rub out 
the sheep's food just yet. But what I may do is get some grass done. I swear get some hay produced because what we could actually do, folks, get cracking on and make a bunch of TMR. So when we get cows, we can just go bang half a million litres of TMR at the ready. So yeah, there's a couple of options we could do. I think, yeah. Sheep are happy. Pigs are happy. Producing a decent amount of stuff. Food, they're good for another 10 days. Same with the uh, sheep. How does that will go down? So, all in all, I am happy. How much is a cow farm worth, though? Let's have a little look here. Crossfields Dairy. Oh no, we don't buy you. Half a mil, and we get two grass fields. Yep. Two grass fields and a field, field 27. Obviously, what I want to do is go and get these fields as well. So we can have one big field. Maybe not 33, we could live without that. But yeah, that's a lot to think about, folks. And that is going to be it for me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, smash that like button. Feel free to click down below. And if you want to share some, please be my guest. Not scroll to the channel and please do ask for push over 2,000 subs by the time FS20 comes out on November 22nd. But, what you choose to do, are you pressing the seal? But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.